Hi everyone, welcome back to Get Ready With Me, Louise. I'm at a loss of words today, y'all. So, I kind of pay attention to what's new and what's not new. And when it comes to like the Lunar New Year and holidays especially, it irritates me to no end to see certain things just repackaged. You know what I mean? Like nothing new because I feel like they're trying to trick people. And my problem with that is certain things I'm okay with. For an example, the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Airbrush Flawless Finish. I had got this, I think, was it the Tiger year? The Tiger movie? I don't know what it was the year of, okay? But I got this. But here's the thing with this. This is something I, with even the collection I have, will use up. And the reason I know this is because it's almost gone. So, as you can see. I'll buy another one. Now, whether I buy it, if they come out with one this year that's in this, that's a different story, okay? But it took me a year to use it up. It, It's still repackaged, but to the point where I'm like, okay, you know, if this is somebody's favorite and they want the year or something, fine, you know? But, 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 or holiday, like packaging, repackaging, and putting a Christmas, like snowflakes or something on it. Okay, but when you repackage a palette that is so freaking expensive, then mark it up, okay? Then take the regular one off your website or off every website so you just have the holiday launch of it. The palette I am talking about, y'all, is the Tom Ford The Love Collection. This is ludicrous. Ludicrous. Okay, first off, four eyeshadows. Four. Okay, $95. Now, it's in red packaging and it's in, it's got little hearts on each of the shades. Let me show you a picture. So this is what it looks like. Is it pretty? You know, it's pretty. Is it worth $5 compared to this one that I have? And you open it up, same shades. No, I don't have the fancy hearts in them. No, I don't have the fancy red packaging. But I was like, why do they do this? And then I thought, it's to scam people. A, it's to scam people that are in love with Tom Ford, I think. It's just a conspiracy theory. And they're not really reading and they think it's a new palette. Because that's what I did. However, I've gotten smart to this over the years. So I read. I actually read now. I know it's hard to believe, but I read the description. And it is the Honeymoon Palette. Now, it's usually, well, when I purchased mine, I think it was like $85, $89, something like that. Around that price point. Now, generally, they're selling for $90 on Sephora. Now, with even that said, this one is $95. First off, it has been a long time since I purchased a Tom Ford because honestly, there's just so much out there that there's nothing new. Do I like his shadows? Yes. Do I like this palette? Yes. Do I think it, you know, has a pretty look? Yes. Do I want to spend five more dollars because it's in red packaging? No, I don't. Do I even want to spend $90? No, I don't. I wait for a sale. I'm either waiting for the 20% off. Or I'll go on to Tom Ford's website and, you know, they usually have like a welcome thing or something like that, right? We're going to ignore the hair. But anyway, I've just realized that after playing with so many different formulas, that sometimes the price tag does match to a certain extent. It depends still on preferences and what you're willing to spend. But in the, the, this just doesn't add up. And I think they get people. And here's why. I think they get guys or significant others let me rephrase that it's significant others because say me for an example I was sitting here looking at the new Tom Ford release and my fiance was sitting there right and I know he was listening to me now I don't know how clear he was listening to me but he was listening and I know he would think she that's a new release for Valentine's Day I gotta get her something for Valentine's Day let me get her that Absolutely not, which he knows better because I already told him no. 
to this particular Valentine's Day lease. Now, the Pat McGrath Valentine's Day release, that may be what you can get me. But this one, no. So, the reason I say this is because if guys are just out and they're shopping or girls are out shopping for their significant other, however it goes, like, they're not going to know. They're going to know probably, like, what their partner likes, what brands they like, but not necessarily what they have. And they would assume that this is something new because it says new and all it is is new packaging. Same crap new packaging you know and I think that's who they get because I don't you know you don't want this okay and even if I didn't have this palette okay because I wasn't for sure if I did to be fair even if I didn't if I didn't have it like I don't want this now because it's in red packaging you know what I mean if I didn't want it when it first released or at least within a certain amount of time I ain't wanting it now, if maybe I didn't have the money for it, like, and it took me a while to save for it, maybe, maybe. But again, there's so many maybes, and I just don't feel like that that's why they would do it. I feel more it's towards trickery almost. You know what I mean? It is just my opinion, but let's get started. Neither here nor there. Just listen to my rambling, because it kind of makes me so, so mad. But let's get started for today, because I actually did use a good bit of Tom Ford. Reason being... It's because, to be fair, Tom Ford's been on my crap list lately. I, I, they did relaunch. I think I did purchase a palette last year. One palette. And it was good. But nothing mind-blowing. So with that said, oh, I know what I purchased last year, too, of Tom Ford. Their foundation. And I just looked online. And to be fair, the Traceless Soft Matte Foundation, I guess Sephora's doing away with it because it's almost all sold out. But this is what I'm wearing today, and I, 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 I live by this foundation, y'all. I really, really do like this foundation. It is exactly, it is a soft matte. It really is. It is almost, I don't even know if I'd say soft matte. It's like skin-like on me. Now, I have normal and then maybe oily in the T-zone, but generally we'll just say I'm normal. So... It just looks like skin on me, especially after an hour of it just sitting on my skin and my own mixing with it, you know. It does look like skin. That I love. The concealer I used today was CoverGirl. I don't know why I picked CoverGirl, but I did. It's this one here, uh, Simply Ageless, Ageless Insta Fix Advanced Concealer. Now, I pulled the tip off of mine. And I just click it up and I use a brush and brush and one. Um, I, it, it, it's okay. And then I set it with the Lunar Beauty uh, translucent powder. And then I use the Peach Perfect by Too Faced uh, for the um, rest of my face. Then, you know, I'm just, I just really can't believe that this is what Tom Ford did. I'm not going to lie. Like, it's just beyond me. Let me get the swatches of the palette on my hand for you, too. Because I must have hit something in. Boy, my swatches suck. But you'll get the gist. I mean, you... Look. You probably have this palette. Let's be honest. And if you don't be honest with yourself, you didn't want it, then... Do not spend an extra $5 on it now, for sure. Wait for sale. It ain't selling out. I can't imagine, anyway. Because this, it, don't get me wrong, it is a pretty palette. And when it did launch, I did purchase it. And it is pretty. But not $95 pretty. Not even $90 pretty. But I'm sure I spent the 85 or 89 So then I was like, okay, I used the Tom Ford Foundation. Let me go and get... Uh, I had a blush in Inhibition, 06 Inhibition, and it is a very pretty blush. It is. You can build it up or you can put it on very softly, and that's usually Tom's fourth thing. It is a very soft look for the most part. I really had to build this up, mind you, okay? But it is beautiful, nonetheless. 
is it any better than my Pat McGrath? Not really. Is it any better than, say, um, what other blushes? The Too Faced? No. Um, Natasha Denona? No. Benefit? No. I've actually been liking my Benefit blushes. Go figure. But anyway, no difference. Then I use this. Now, this had me just dumbfounded because I could never figure out what to do with this here, right? This one here, I'm you wearing it as highlighter, and then there's the blush. This shade here, so this is in Mood, mood Light. It's the Skin Illuminating Power, Powder Duo. And I was watching someone, and they used it almost like a bronzer. And I was like, how is that going to work? Like, it had me just baffled. Because I'm like, it doesn't look dark enough to be a bronzer. Or a contour, really, but okay, so that's what I did, and y'all, it worked. Now, I'm light-skinned. I would say maybe light to, maybe light medium, but it worked, and I'm like, huh, interesting, and it almost looks like it's real, like that's the way my skin just looks, like with if I didn't make the blush, so, you know, but with just this and the highlighter, I was like, so very interesting. So this is what I'm using for my bronzer and highlighter today in a way. I'm going to keep playing with that though because that's just interesting. You can still get that one though. You can't get the blush though. At least not on Sephora. Now let's get on to this palette. This is what the shades look like. Is it pretty? Yes. There's three satins and then one matte. This is the wet to dry formula. Well, even that matte looks satin, to be fair. Just not as metallic-y satin. But it uh, it is kind of... Anyway, you can use these wet to dry. I used them dry. If you do use them wet, it does give the more metallic look, though. Just so you know. But I am going to use every shade in the palette. So let's get started. We're going to go in with this shade first. I don't know. Like... When I first got into makeup, let's say five years ago, and that's not that long ago, okay? But let me tell you, it has changed. The makeup game has changed. Even five years ago when I first started looking at stuff, looking back just a couple of years, from that couple of years to, to the point that I started, it had changed. And I was just getting into it, watching it and stuff, and listening to the reviews, and I was like, yeah, okay, let's buy some of the stuff and see what it's like. And some of it was, was nice, some of it, you know, and, and some of it not so much. Nowadays, it is kind of hard to find something that's just like, blah, like no good crap, because there's just so much out on the market, like... It's hard to come up with something pure crap. You know what I mean? Is it out there? Sure. But it is hard to find. But with that said, it's like because there is so much it, it out there, Tom Ford just doesn't stand out like it used to. I'm sorry, but I just don't think it does. Do I think it's a nice formula? Yes. But here's my thing with it. It is nice. The packaging is nice. The color stories are nice. But they're also kind of mostly basic. They're kind of just a repeat, either darker or lighter than what came before it. And the price tag is just unreal. You know, I can create the same look using a lot of different palettes, to be fair. From high end to, or from high, yeah, high end to prestige to drugstore to whatever, and come up with the same look and it be less than $95, have way more shades than just four. So I don't know anymore. We're going to go into this darker shade now. And like, I definitely think that at the time when this released, 
it wasn't it was a hit it really was a it is in their wet to dry formula and that is a little different and the packaging is nice it is it does make you feel bougie it does but anymore it's just it's like either have to step up and keep your price tag or step down you know what I mean because I feel like I can get a Pat McGrath and it feel just as luxe for Pam for what's her 65 I think depending but like $65 so you're still cheaper Speaking of that, I'm wondering, does Pat McGrath have a four pan in this kind of color story? Because I could definitely see her having it. I don't know. To me, it just irritates me because all they done was take it and repackage it. Does it kind of make sense? Honeymoon, Valentine's Day, maybe. But... This isn't like the Charlotte Tilbury palette where their powder where you're going to use it in a year's time. Because I don't, I mean, would you though? Would somebody use this palette all year long? Let me rethink this. Is this the one palette? We're going to go back into this first shade and I'm going to run it under the lower lash line. Let me think about this now. Say. But I don't think it'd be this one I would have. That's the thing. What I was thinking was, is what if this is somebody's one palette? How many somebody's would this be one, their one palette they use consistently day after day after day? I could see somebody having this as their date night, maybe, palette. Or their going out palette but not every day I wouldn't want to wear this to work every day I could definitely see me having it as like a day night palette though it's quick it's easy it always produces a really pretty look that sort of thing because I'm trying to think well could somebody go through this palette in a year's time to make it make sense I don't know I couldn't and the reason I know I couldn't but and the reason I'm so mad is because like I believe wholeheartedly had I not said to my fiance no I really truly believe he would have gotten me this collection and it would have made obviously I'd have been grateful don't get me wrong but it would have made me mad because it kind of tricked him because it kind of tricked me for about a half a second you know what I mean I don't know. I feel like that's who they're tricking though is significant others. And even like myself if I didn't read because I would have just seen the red and thought actually what I really thought at first was <laughs> they done something with the cherry collection because it was red but then I remembered the cherry collection was more of a, a more it wasn't red like that it was more of a like a purpley red so i was like well that ain't it and then i realized that it said love and i was like oh okay it's a whole and i was like reading a little more and i was like oh honeymoon got it so yeah i don't know i just don't like that i really don't and i know they do say that it is like they put it in their description but like when you're just out shopping like yeah if you're doing it online sure but if you're just out shopping, you're not going to see that. You know what I mean? At least I don't think so. We're going to take this shade now and lay it on the lid. And again, if I were to get this wet, it would definitely come off much more metallic looking. And don't get me wrong, this is a very, very, very pretty color story. And it's, it's like a sexy... It's not too vampy, but it's vampy enough. You know what I mean? It's like 
you're going to feel comfortable wearing it, but it is going to be on the little bit of a darker side for you. Me personally, like this is not my favorite Tom Ford palette. Nude Dip would probably be like my favorite everyday. That's the palette I want. But he's got another one. Rose something maybe or... Oh, shoot. I can't think of it right now. That I like too. There's a few that I just absolutely adore. Don't get me wrong. And even though I like this one, it's not one that I'm like in love with by no means. And by no means would I say spend $95 on this palette at all. At all. No. No. Mm-mm. We're going to take this shade right here and I'm going to put it in the inner corner. Now, I would suggest if you were going to look into Tom Ford, I do like the wet to dry formulas. And I even like the new one. What was that that he came out with? It's like a, is it a cream to matte formula? There's one, I forget, again, I think it's Rose, Rose Topaz or Topaz Rose, something like that. I own it. And it's not bad. But, but y'all get it when you can get a discount because there's ne I'm never going to say that that price tag is worth it. The palette could be amazing, but it's never, ever going to be worth that price point. Let's go into this purple. Like, even if you got the 20% off, it's still really kind of not worth it, but at least you got something. You know what I mean? And I just feel like you could buy the Love Palette by Natasha Denona. You know, well, really, I think it would be more the retro. You would get more of this kind of look, I feel like. Maybe the My Dream, even. You would get more of a vampy look have way more colors. Now the formula is different. It is. But I'm trying to, you know, do get more for my money in a way. And you're not sacrificing quality because Natasha Denona has phenomenal quality, you know. But I will say that, you know, if this was the only palette you use then I still wouldn't pay the extra five dollars for it just because it's in red packaging because there are four pan palettes that I do like like Charlotte Tilbury there's some of Pat McGrath's there's um I only own one from Surratt Garlon. I really liked Garlon's formula. Who would have thought? But I I really did. I like Sarah too. But they're expensive too for foreshadows. I think they're more than Tom Ford to be honest. But that formula is different too. I don't know how to explain it. And it's not that they came out with something for Valentine's Day. I'm all for that. I was looking to see if it was a new collection, if it was something I wanted to try. Because I haven't given Tom Ford a try in a while, like I said. What irritates me is, is that they launched it in a palette that's already existing and has existed for years. Okay? Because you have to realize that this honeymoon... is 04. 04 honeymoon. So do you know how many palettes have came out since honeymoon? I mean, you could probably guess. I just feel like they should have given us more.
and here's the thing, let's pretend you weren't around when this did launch, right? Because some people get into makeup at different points in their life, right? Why are you going to spend an extra five dollars just on packaging? Because it's red. It ain't no more bougier than this one. It's just red. Well, I guess the brushes are red too instead of brown. Because here's the brushes that come with mine. They're more brown. So I guess you get the packaging that's red and the brushes. I'm still looking at it. Just mind. Mind blown. Tom Ford has blown my mind on this one. The craziness. Don't fall for it. Please don't fall for it. Seriously. I've got a cat here. Oh no. Alright. So this is the full palette again. This is what this looks like. I am going to take this off because I'm going to get it all over me. If I don't. I will say his shadows last all day. Again, if there was palettes, I was going to, I would suggest it would be one of these because it is wet to dry. Just not this one. Okay, so we are going to, whoa, put this away. Plus, I mean, do you really keep these? I do have most, I, I don't have one. One of them doesn't have the cover. Well, no, it has the cover. It don't have the brushes because my daughter stole the brushes. But other than that, I do keep them all. But I don't really use them. I did try them with the palettes just to see if it did anything. It doesn't. Okay, we're going to curl the lashes. Uh, for lips, though, now here's where I do like the fragrances, Tom Ford's fragrances. So that would be something that I would, you know, suggest expensive. But they're good. They are good. Um, for lip liner, I use the Kylie and Coconut because I'm like trying to finish it off. But I have a bunch of these little samples of Tom Ford's and I'm wearing Casablanca. Yes. And this one and Indian Rose are my like two favorite colors of all time. I just, the shade, chef's kiss. Like, I love them. I have several. I've, well, I've got these little things. I got five of them. And then I do have some Tom Ford way up there. And I would say the other one I like is got that, uh, it's like a balm. And it almost has like a, it looks like there's glitter in it. And it really does kind of change your lips a little bit. We're going to curl the lashes. So his lip products are good too. I need to stop talking. I'm using the Surratt eyelash curler. Um. Anyway, his lipsticks are nice. The bullets, uh, the lip gloss. I have one, I think. It's all right too. Uh, I think that's all for lips that I have. The lipsticks. I've got several of his lipsticks. One lip gloss. I don't think I have any. Yeah, I did have a lip liner. It was like attached to a lipstick back in the time, back in the day. I believe it was in Indian Rose, to be fair. Um, and I did like that. It was neat to have both of them together. But, you know, nothing, I'm sure, probably wasn't worth the price. But anyway, we're going to use a Tom Ford mascara. It's been a while. This one here is called Ultra Length. I'm not even going to say anything. I'm just going to let y'all see. Okay. That's why I don't edit. Because I really truly want you to see this stuff. This mascara. Is $50. I'll be honest. I don't like. I, really any of his mascaras. I have this one. I have the emotion proof. I have the badass. I have another one too I can't think of it and then I have this one so let's try this one on the top lashes ultra length y'all
I don't know. Are you all seeing it? Because I'm not. It's a small brush. It is fiber. I mean, it is getting in there to them because it is such a small brush. But, like, if I'm thinking of length, I think my Gucci does better. For Lent, personally. I mean, it's not bad. But not worth $50. At all, in my opinion. And I know everybody's different, so... To each their own. And this is just my opinion. Oh, I know what I forgot to do, though. Hold on, let me get this one. We'll go back and do it. I just forgot to put eyeliner on the waterline. I did use the Charlotte Tilbury. I thought it went really well with this look. The Mesmerizing Maroon one went really well with this look. I put the uh, this one, the matte side on the top lashes. And then the uh, metallic one on the bottom line on the bottom lash line so I'll do the metallic now on the bottom since I haven't did that mascara yet and then once it dries on the top I'll go in with the dark one so that it at least looks like I have a little bit more volume since this is a lengthening one not a volume Personally, I don't think it's anything, but again, everybody likes something different, I suppose. And I'm just running this on the top water line. For bottom lashes, I am going to use the Cali Ray, of course. Come hell or high water. I really, I think I'm going to have to buy the full size of this, y'all. I've really been enjoying it for the lower lash line. And I do have to buy a new one. I don't know if I want to go with this one or the MAC one yet. That I'm not for sure on. But I definitely want to get one or the other. And I'm more leaning towards this one for whatever the reason. But I only want to buy one. Just don't know which one yet. Alright, so, this is the final look, using pretty much all Tom Ford products. Um, I don't know, you tell me. Like, I don't think the look came out bad at all. Right? I don't think it's awful. I think that the palette actually makes my green eyes really pop, to be fair. Um, I'm just like, but is any of it really worth the price? Like, I've really enjoyed the last 
couple of looks I've done, like my whole face even, it's been surprising me. And I didn't use, you know, yeah, it's higher end, but it wasn't <laughs> no $95 eyeshadow palette for four shade type of high end, you know what I mean? And I just don't, I don't know. What do you all think? Like, what do you seriously think about this now, in this time, with everything that's available to you, all the brands, all the price points? I, I just, I, I kind of am surprised they're still around when it comes to the beauty line. The perfume line, I can see. And I ain't saying that there's, I mean, like I said, that foundation is worth every penny to me. But that's one thing out of their whole line. And I'm like, and then I see something like Marc Jacobs going out of business. I'm like, what? How? You know, it's like, how are they surviving and Marc Jacobs didn't? Because if I had to choose like one of those lines forever, I'd have chose Marc Jacobs. I don't know. Let me know. What, where, where do you sit with this? How do you feel? And don't get me wrong. I know you're paying for packaging. I know you're paying for the name. I'm well aware of all that. So I get it to that degree. And I'm not, I'm not looking at it from that. I'm looking at it from formula standpoint now versus what's available now. You know, not what was available five, maybe 10 years ago even, but I'm just looking at it from five years ago when I first got into this. Like, things have changed that much, that drastically. And I just don't know how long they're going to hold on. I really don't. Especially if all they're going to do is repackage. They ain't coming up with nothing new. Come on now. I don't know. But let me know. I'm done rambling. I'm sorry. I I get so mad about this stuff sometimes. Anyway, let me know um, what you think. Because I'm dying to know how everybody feels about this. Because from what I'm gathering, everybody is it kind of in the same boat. Same thing, new packaging type of thing, you know. But let me know. And uh, if you like this video, if it helped in any way. Maybe you were interested in it because you weren't around during, you know, when the honeymoon and maybe you like the color story. It is beautiful. The formula. Thumbs up. Not at $95, but in my opinion. But then again, I probably paid $89, $85, $89 for mine. So what's five more dollars, you know, or six more dollars. that wasn't right. My math isn't mathing. <laughs> anyway, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, ring the bell, hit all that where you're notified when I upload. I upload every day but Sunday, I, except for this Sunday. This video is going up actually tomorrow because, well, I just wanted to get, get it up before somebody got fooled that this is like a new palette or something. And I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Stay safe. Bye.